The picture below shows the floor plan of a triangular shed. The triangle is equilateral. The length of each side of the triangle is 6 feet. Point A is one of the corners of the shed. The line through points A and B represents a wall, which is an extension of one of the walls of the shed. At point A, a dog is leashed. The length of the leash is 18 feet. Line segment AB represents the leash. What's the area of the region the dog has access to? The picture here looks a little small. We're going to look at a bigger picture momentarily. I would encourage you to write down the question so that when we look at the picture you have a copy of the question. What's going on here is we have a triangular shed and this is an equilateral triangle and each side is six feet. And this is a wall and the dog cannot go through the wall, the dog cannot go through the shed. Now the dog is leashed to point A, let's erase this, leashed to point A and the length of the leash is 18 feet and the dog and the leash is flexible so the dog can move around the shed but cannot go through the shed or cannot go over the shed and we need to find out how much area the dog has access to. Let's move forward. Okay so here is uh, the same picture a little enlarged. Um, this is the region the dog will have access to, roughly. We're going to come back and decide how we can decipher that or explain why the dog will have access to only this much area. And what does it mean and how do we calculate the area of this region? Alright, so that's our goal. Erase all that. So let's really try to understand how much area the dog has access to. Okay, here is the same picture again. Okay, the dog has access to this much area. So graphically, we can say dog can come here. This is his leash moving around here, here, here. Now this sector has this angle has to be 120 degrees and the radius of this sector has to be 18. I'm going to write 18 here. Okay. Now from this point forward what happens? The dog this leash, this part of the leash is only 12 feet. The entire leash originally was 18, but this is 6 feet and this is the shed. So the, the leash kind of hinges around this point. So now let's move on. This part, this smaller sector, this angle is also 120 because we're talking about an equilateral triangle, this is 60, this is 60, this is 60. Now what we really want to note is that this is only 12 feet. The radius of the sector is 12 feet, not 18. What happens here? Now at this point, take a look at this sector. This sector again the angle is 120 like before. That's fine. What about this length? This length is not 18, not 12. The leash is kind of being wrapped around the shed so this is only 6 feet. And when the dock comes here, the dock can move any further because the length of the leash is 18 and the perimeter of the shed is also 18 so the dog is totally wrapped around the shed. So let's erase all that and let's look at the animation once again. Let's go back. You really want to understand that before you understand the math, uh, geometry behind this, the solution to this problem. This is this sector the one that I've just drawn, the angle here is 120, the central angle, and the radius of the sector is 18. The next sector, 
the angle is still 120 but the radius is only 12 the central angle is 120 the radius is now 6 so let's go back and once we understand the picture let's uh, the problem is not very difficult to solve so let's go back to our original problem so this is the same picture that we had on the previous slide all we need to do is find the areas of the three sectors we know that each angle is 120 here right here 120 120 120 which really mean that these sectors are one-third of a circle and I have three sectors and the radii of the three sectors are different so let's erase all that let's see what kind of math we have here for us okay the area of the largest sector and by the largest sector I mean this sector okay this has to be one-third pi r square and r is 18 and one-third because the central angle is 120 let's find the area of the next sector on the next slide the second largest sector and by that I mean this sector is once again a third of the whole circle that's why I have a third here the radius is 12 but 12 here pi r squared gives me the area of the whole circle and multiplied by one-third because I'm only looking for one-third and the answer is 48 pi when you reduce it so all we need to do is find the area of the smallest sector next let's erase all that okay area of the smallest sector here this one is one-third pi r square r happens to be six six square is 36 you do the math you get 12 pi so now all we need to do is add the areas of the three sectors let's erase everything move forward all right so what's going on from the previous slides we can say area of this smallest sector is 12 pi area of the second sector the second largest sector is 48 pi from our previous slide area of the third largest sector is 108 pi from one of the previous slides so what is the total area the dog has access to all I need to do is add the three areas 108 pi plus 48 pi plus 12 pi is 168 pi so that's my final answer the total area the dog has access to is 168 pi